Disgraced Hollywood actor Kevin Spacey has lived in a number of remarkable homes over the years. For a man who's currently doing his very best to hide out from the media for the past five years or so, he sure is living in the lap of luxury while doing that. Years ago, Kevin lived in a 1.1 acre estate located at the western edge of the Los Feliz area of California, which property records suggest he bought in late 1997 for somewhere around $2.1 million. A notoriously private individual for reasons that would only become clearer when it was already far too late, Kevin never once invited the press or his adoring fan base into his home. Kevin's meticulously maintained residence was first constructed in the 1920s out of red brick in the style of a faux timbered English Tudor and was all but hidden away behind a massive gate as well as a thick wall of hedges. Outside of those two spaces, however, much of the house was said to need serious renovation when Kevin eventually moved out in 2017. Kevin originally listed his longtime home quietly in 2015 with an asking price of around $15 million. After no one bit, he removed the listing but kept pursuing a sale and off-market deals. Eventually, he found a buyer in veteran studio executive Donna Langley, the chairman of Universal Pictures. She reportedly paid $11 million for the home in summer 2017. As it turns out, Kevin found a buyer at just the right time, because by the end of that year, he had been accused of a series of sexual assault scandals, which had they been revealed any earlier, no doubt would have ruined the value of his house. After essentially getting shunned in Hollywood, Kevin Spacey wouldn't have many places left to turn. According to sources in the know, Kevin bought himself a 2.3 million pound London flat in 2009 after first renting out a duplex apartment on the 21st and 22nd floors of the skyscraper known as the Perspective Building. Apparently, the views in this original duplex didn't suit him, so Kevin moved up a few more floors into a 2,547 square foot three bedroom apartment, which offered some amazing sight lines of the House of Parliament in the London Eye. The actor then renovated his new digs to better suit his bachelor lifestyle by splashing out on lavish furniture and theatrical artifacts, importing his own private art collection and replacing the flat's modern door with a stage door from the Old Vic Theater, the performance venue where Spacey was the artistic director of for a number of years. Some of Spacey's neighbors actually complained that the door looked out of place with the more modern decor of the other units, but he was still granted special permission to install it by the building's owners. Other tenants would say that, for the most part, Spacey was a low-profile resident who kept to himself and never made much of a fuss. One of his neighbors told the Daily Mail, the names on Kevin's guest list didn't often contain his neighbors. Instead, it was young men aged around 18 or 19 year old wannabe actors. Of course, we know that those parties were far from innocent now, and that Spacey was using his position of power to take advantage of many young men. When this shocking story first broke, it not only marked the end of Spacey's storied acting career, but the beginning of his exile to Baltimore, Maryland as well. So, where does he live in Maryland? And more importantly, why does he live in Maryland? Around the same time that Spacey's career and life were going to hell in the fall of 2017, his manager, Evan Lowenstein, purchased a waterfront mansion for him to retreat to in Baltimore, Maryland. Tax records show that the home was purchased for $5.65 million, and this 9,000 square foot behemoth offers five levels to live on, six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, as well as three half bathrooms. Outside of the more traditional features, this incredible mansion was also said to boast a bunch of lavish upgrades, such as an elevator, an epic spiral staircase, a sauna, a home theater, a billiards room with amazing views, multiple patios, a four car garage, and a rooftop terrace that looks over the inner harbor. It does all of this while still maintaining enough extra space to easily host a gathering of as many as 300 people. Though it's unlikely anyone would be looking to pay Spacey a visit anytime soon considering the circumstances. In fact, sources would tell the Baltimore Banner that prices in the surrounding area tumbled to record lows in the weeks following Spacey's arrival. He's occasionally recognized while passing through the inner harbor, say at the restaurant he likes to frequent in the South 
Agamore Pendry Hotel or in the early morning walking his dog Boston around Locust Point. But other than that, he's kept a really low profile. But a federal lawsuit in New York involving inappropriate sexual advances Spacey made towards actor Anthony Rapp at a party back in the 80s now forced him to reveal details about his private life in Baltimore. For instance, Spacey was forced to inform the judge that he used a legal entity known as Clear Toaster LLC to buy his South Baltimore home, but that he also leases apartments right next door to it at the nearby Ritz-Carlton residences. It's in those luxury apartments that Spacey holds business meetings and puts up any staff he has on the payroll. He explained the rationale behind his secrecy in a letter to the New York judge, writing, All or most of the real estate I have purchased in my life has been structured in a manner to protect protect my privacy and safety. As for why Spacey chose Baltimore to wait out the litany of legal issues that he's been accused of over recent years, well, the reasoning is mostly legal. Defense attorneys generally prefer to tackle lawsuits like these in federal court, as opposed to, say, New York state court. That way, technical rules, jury pools, and judges can be more easily adjusted in their favor. That's why Spacey has decided to make it crystal clear that Baltimore is his home because, well, it gives him as much of a legal advantage as he could possibly get. In other court records, Spacey has done his best to paint himself as someone who is hoping to provide community service projects in his new hometown. For instance, the actor was said to have contacted Under Armour founder Kevin Plank to discuss the idea of building a performing arts theater on the company's campus. But of course, in October 2017, all of those plans went out the windows when those accusations were made against him by rap. Since then, more than a dozen men have accused Kevin Spacey of unwanted sexual advances, and this past summer, British prosecutors announced criminal charges and accused Spacey of assaulting three men more than a decade ago while he was the creative director at Old Vic Theatre in London. But as for Kevin's ploy to gain home court advantage during his upcoming court case stateside, well, it worked. His vet bills, property, and financial records all proved enough to satisfy the court to accept Baltimore as Spacey's permanent home. At the same time, denying requests by Rapp's lawyers to move the lawsuit to New York State Court. Kevin Spacey's trial against Anthony Rapp is set to begin later this month. It's pretty clear that Spacey has done his best to think three moves ahead and prepare himself for whatever's about to happen. But will it be enough to ultimately help him win? We can only wait and see. As for now, that's gonna bring this Kevin Spacey house tour to a close. Thanks for watching and let me know what you thought of his homes down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Famous Entertainment and follow me over on Instagram to chat. My name's Kara and I will see you all in another video. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. <laughs>